It's going to move you emotionally, and it'll take you back like if Selena was recording it this morning. New never-before-released music from Teano Queen, Selena Quintanilla, is out today. The late singer has a new album, Moonchild Mixes, made up of 10 new songs including two with multiple versions. Original recordings sang by Selena between the ages of 13 and 16 that were remastered by her brother and longtime producer A.B. Quintanilla III and now being released 37 years later. Selena's family shared with Billboard the reason behind releasing the music now. We as a family had discussed this among ourselves that in the future after Selena's passing that we were going to try to maintain her presence alive through her music and I'm more than sure that the fans are going to love it. It's all about love. The album's first single, Como Te Quiero Yo A Ti, which dropped on July 29th and debuted at number 6 on the Billboard Latin Digital Song Sales chart, is a pop ballad about unrequited love, keeping true to the classic Selena songs. I think the beauty of who Selena was is that she wasn't just an artist. She was very caring, very loving. She expressed herself very much and then the way that she was able to belt out a song and to be able to dance and to be able to captivate you when she was performing she was an excellent performer for the making of the album ab removed selena's vocals from the original tracks and remastered the music to match today's sound thanks to technology we worked her voice to sound like right before she passed away you have to understand we're, we were young selena was what 13 14. at the end it was always exciting to listen to the final once it was mixed. The album is definitely a treat for fans, home to brand new tracks such as Dame Tu Amor, No Llores Mas, Cariño Mio, and Sabes. Moon Job Mixes also has special meaning behind its title. The reason for the name of the album is, is very simple, is because it means her name. Like in Greek, Selena's name means goddess of the moon. So hence Moonchild. And so when Abe and I were going back and forth, we didn't want such a traditional name for this album, like Legendary or anything like that. And Abe just said, how about if we just name it Moonchild? And it just was like, oh my God, that's perfect. Her fans will understand it. They'll, they'll understand the connection because it is her name. Selena's sister Suzette says the family is especially thrilled that the new music will be available through a medium very true to Selena's time. We're really excited about this new album. You know, not only is it on digital platform, but it's also going to be physical in stores. So we're, wow, I mean, that's like, it's kind of crazy to say that in 2022. And it, I think that speaks volumes to the magnitude of Selena as an artist and what she represents to the music community and to music. Moonchild Mixes is the result of a family who's keeping Selena's memory and legacy alive. Of course, you know, it brings back a lot of emotions. The pain of losing her will never go away. No, nah, you never heal from losing a loved but, one. But we do remember a lot of good times that we had uh, traveling uh, from town to town, doing shows. Working in the studio. Working in the studio, recording and all that. Uh, it was great because it involved the whole family. But at the end of the day, it's all about family. And when asked what they'd do if Selena were here today, the family said. Nothing, I'd hug I her. Would, I would I'd just, just hug, her. hug her. Yeah. And not let her go. Yeah. The album is already available on digital platforms and in stores. For all the latest in music and more, this is Billboard News.